go to sleep, I go far away. If you forgot your dreams, just remember to love. It's important to remember your dreams. It was all a dream. Lighting a little of that Pelo Santo. Yo, what up, what up, Aquastone Throne? Like, share, and subscribe. Yo, it's been a minute. I got my coffee. This one's gonna be real quick. This one's gonna be about crystals, okay? So, um, basically, right, in the, in the plane, in the plane of existence, in the plane net, um, the most natural condensed energy that Mother Gaia makes is within stones, right? But, but before they become stones, they crystallize, right? Back to what I was saying, right? crystals right every single phone on the planet has a crystal every single computer on the planet has a crystal right um it's very important to know that you have you are a crystalline being right and so it's also very important to understand that a human being can be programmed and is 100 percent in a programmed state of mind unless they have their second birth and that's what the bible the bible calls something called the second birth and that's when they consciously awaken right so this normally happens like around 27 28 years when saturn has above so below saturn also travels around your internal vessel internal ocean it takes 28 years for that to uh to make a full revolution inside your internal body. This is around this is why around that age you have massive downloads. You you change jobs, you change your outlook on life. You might um you might you might change genders like around that time. It's getting out of control, right? But um yo, but back to what I was saying. Crystal is a supercomputer, right? And moreover, your third eye when it gets calcified and shut off from eating food from drinking fluorided tap water it be, it it becomes calcified and it's basically calcification is the reverse of crystallization and so it's very important to keep that that little gland in between both hemispheres of your brain fully active in a crystallized state of state you know what i'm saying that way it operates that way you could use your antenna to receive downloads from the sun and other external bodies that are interacting with this time space realm all right so something about crystals right um crystals can be programmed just like your mind can be programmed if you're not in an, in an awakened state and so you know i got like for example you know i got all these little tiny crystals over here that i just showed y'all oh i got a i got a whole bunch of selenite right behind me right so i got i keep mad selenite in the crib I got a whole bunch of stuff, right? So I'm gonna show you all what I do, right? I'm gonna show you real quick on how to program a crystal, right? So you wanna clear out all the information because there's mad information over here. There might been there might have been a dude um you know running around half a million years ago with this. And this could have been a massive a massive huge piece and this guy and his family would actually go before they had like bullshit religions I'm pretty sure that they were praying to crystals and the sun and things like that right and the moon and you know maybe this guy would go over there with his family and make sure and touch the crystal and make sure that um, their harvest and the sun and, and the rain and, and everything played out perfectly that way they have food for their next solar calendar year right and so uh, this like I said this could be half a million years old right and so there might be massive amounts of information and I could only imagine I have to imagine that somewhere within this crystal's life it has met an awakened being like me that knew what was going on and how to program information into this because I could actually like you see what they're doing right now they're trying to neuro like Elon's trying to neural link you that way you, they could upload your mind into their server and make you uh, a bot slave retard forever like that's very real and I could do the same exact thing I could take everything in my supercomputer 
and transfer all this information into this crystal. But I have to know how to do that, right? A lot of us don't know how to do that. Plus, um, for example, there's a possibility that there is already very bad information in this crystal, and I don't know that. You know, a lot of people go, they, they uh, when they become enlightened and they start their spiritual journey, you know, they start buying crystals, they start buying little copper necklaces and all that, but they might have crystals on them that might actually have negative energy trapped within them, and they don't even know about it because they're just starting their, their journey, right? So um, one way to, uh, I'm gonna show you, here we go. This is how we program a crystal, right? So uh, what we're gonna do, right? You have, all you gotta do, right? Is you gotta ground yourself, right? You gotta either go outside, stand in the ground, take your shoes off, actually get all of the negative ions and all the negative sh to get displaced off of your bioelectrical chemical vessel and put back into the earth. Now, if you, if you don't wanna do that, you could just go touch a doorknob or a heat and hot water pipe in your house that goes all the way down into the ground and that shit will ground you and take off all the extra energy out of your RNA external light body because you know you do have an external light body controlled by the RNA, right? There's That's why when they made you guys put on them bullshit mask they told you all to stay six feet apart because even a sleeping unconscious person has an etheric field which goes six feet out beyond them and can interact with your field so this is why if you're in a very awakened light being with a lot of energy you can only affect a sleeping negative lost person in a positive manner and if you stay in a high vibrational frequency, their low energy cannot affect you because that's not how it works. Only light affects lower shit. Lower shit cannot affect higher vibrational, higher frequency beings if you know who you are, right? All right, so back to what I was saying, right? You got three hands. You got a positive, negative, right? positive and negative or negative and positive it doesn't matter in the ground right so this is how i'm actually using this right so once i ground my own self and i get all that information off of me then what i can do is this right i'm gonna show you guys all right guys so back to what i was saying with the crystal right you're gonna put it on the ground right now you're gonna place two fingers on it right the negative and positive and then you're gonna place the third thumb, right? You're gonna put your thumb right there, right? On on whatever surface that you have the crystal on. Now you're actually going to give it directions. This thing is live. This shit is live. Like, you know, like and you and and everything is frequency and, and this thing can hear you. So I'm actually talking to it. You know, I'm telling it, you know, right now I'm clearing you out i'm clearing out all of your information and i'm gonna actually stay like this now for three to five minutes and i'm just gonna stay just like this and all this information for thousands and thousands and hundreds of thousands of years is is getting swiped out and clean just like um a hard drive like you know you throw you throw all the it in the hard drive into the trash bin and then you delete everything out of the trash on your apple right it's no different right so now let's five minutes has passed okay now this is just um this is just i'm just showing you because i already programmed these you know actually these two i hold these every morning and i and i uh go through my mudras and mantras and and i program them you know and so uh it's a part of a ritual right you guys gotta have rituals and uh so uh all right so back to uh so back to back to the crystal right i already cleaned it out so now what i'm gonna do right it's already been cleaned out it's perfectly cleared now i gotta program it right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna hold this right i'm gonna hold this with my right hand the reason why i hold it with my right hand is because this is my 
this my left hand is my receiving side or energy is coming in on my left half of my body so that energy is actually going outward right on my right hand and so i'm holding it and i'm giving it such pure love and an intention and everything that's in my mind that i need to transfer into this is now going into this so if i want this one crystal to have all of my beautiful family memories in this I can program it just like that, you know what I mean? And program it with all of this, and I can say, okay, now that all these beautiful memories with all my loved ones, past, present, and future, are now within this crystal, I can now program the crystal and say, every time I touch it or look at it, my loved ones, either dead or alive, I'm communicating with, receiving, positive energy and sending positive energy to wherever they are on ever on any level of existence whether or not they reincarnated back into another human body they're now a fish in the ocean or they are now in a higher realm with completely different sciences and mathematics so you can really you know because none of us ever die right and so like i said you can you can literally program this to do anything you want it to. So, for example, you know, in this in this crazy world, a lot of people are working at their bullshit jobs, right? And they're being programmed. You know, you, you you know, you get taught, and then you work for somebody, right? And this is no different. You know, you could put particular not every. I don't think you could put this particular crystal in the sun. I'm not 100% sure, but there are certain um, crystals that you can even program that every time you com command it, that every time that it hits sunlight, that the, the crystal will automatically allow for you to get whatever you want. You know, what if you want a little extra income, if you want a little extra love, if you want uh, a little bit more enlightenment, knowledge, if you're trying to... Uh, lose weight you could program the crystal to to help you uh gain gain focus over your mind that way you could have more clarity to receive and and process and handle what you got to do to make sure your dreams and goals come through into this reality and this is all uh very real stuff so uh once again guys yo i'm back all right so once again guys um that's that's about crystals i hope you really enjoyed that um get you some crystals Get you a whole bunch of them, keep them around the house, keep them on at different corners. It's really good to have crystals in corners of your house, right? Because it clears the energy. Because if you're not aware of this, entities can portal and occupy your house if you're not aware of this. So um, this is very, very real. And you don't want anything unannounced or unbeknown to you in your domain, in your castle, in your kingdom. So it's very important to have uh, your your space, your own your own four corners, like um you know like uh really clean and 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 free of any anything that could be harvesting or sucking off of your own etheric aura or your or your light body. So um this is just one thing that you could do. You know you could also if if you're into stuff like this. You could also get some salt. You could put some Epsom salt in the four corners of your house. And that actually helps ward off evil spirits and, and, and stuff like that. It's very real. So, um, yeah, that's basically it. Very short one. Um, I haven't seen you all in a minute. Um, you know, I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do with this vlog. Once again, you know, I want to provide very high level of knowledge for you all. So I'm still working on this vlog. Um, there's certain things that I don't want to uh, put on on YouTube, so the very very high information videos will uh, will be on my Patreon. But you know, I'm still uh, thinking about what I want to do with with my YouTube because I just want to share supreme knowledge with you guys because I, I really believe that it's part of my purpose to uh, enlighten the world and provide knowledge that you guys not be might not be aware of just because um you know. This crazy out here like we should all have something to uh to share that way we can all grow right because if there really is a conscious collective 
a subconscious mind, we all got to do better, you know, because uh, getting a little crazy out here, you know what I mean? And I think it's just because uh, we're at such a low level of consciousness. Not all of us. There's a lot of people that are like literally, you know, at that level, like that real supreme being level. I believe that if you're more enlightened, more in tune, have much, have made it to the heart chakra, all of our job to provide sound information, right? To help all of us grow. Because, you know, like back 40 years ago, they said this particular time frame, the revolution will not be televised. And that's very clear, right? It's, that's the, that's literally the clearest shit ever because you see, you know, like all these television companies that are only owned by like four companies and you see how much disinformation and craziness it's getting out of control, you know? So, and you find like people like myself on YouTube that are really trying to help the world, but you know, we're not on massive platforms. I'm not on channel two talking this shit. You know, if I was on channel two talking this shit, the world would be such a better place, you know? But um, yeah, like I said, you know, it's very uh, important to uh, constantly look for like, you know, like stop looking in the ocean. If, if channel four and seven is the ocean of uh, information, stop looking in the ocean because that is toxic as f Start looking into the ponds, you know? So what I mean by that is, you know, go to YouTube, do some searches, you know, put in spiritual healers, um, Reiki masters, uh, yoga, information on, um, you know, waking up, how to uh, be a conscious individual, how to be enlightened, how to uh, commune with God, you know, just type, put in little shit like that in the Google and you'll find people like myself, which are providing supreme information. That way you could get on your godly journey so you could be your best self. So um, if you like this, like, share, and subscribe. Peace, I'm out. Yeah. Thank uh you. -huh.